Hi there, so I'm gonna be doing the collective reading. This is my first time doing it. Usually I do it up in the shorts, but I thought it would be interesting to try something new, okay? But it's still gonna be the same format as past, present, and future. And it's going to be a love reading, okay? So let's get started. Let me get the past energy for the collective, please. Oh boy, it's like the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse. And Judgment in reverse. Okay. And let me get the present energy. It's the Knight of Swords, okay? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And the Sun. Okay. And the future energy, it's the Page of Wands in reverse. The Queen of Cups. Future energy for the collective. The Hermit in reverse. Hmm. And then the overall. It's the magician. Interesting. This is someone that's trying to manifest this connection here. Okay. Um, this is interesting, but I'm trying to compare it to... This is someone in manifestation mode. This could be you manifesting all the four elements, or this could be someone manifesting this connection here, okay? But it seems like with the past energy, it's the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, with the King of Swords in reverse, and Judgment in reverse. So it seems like there was some confusion or uncertainty um, regarding this connection, and someone was not really speaking their truth here with the King of Swords in reverse. There may have not been even communication. Okay, so when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding of what's going on here. But when I look at the present energy, is someone wanting to rush in as the Knight of Swords, and they're feeling quite optimistic about it with the sun card so they're seeing this connection in a very high regard and for the future energy you're showing up as a queen of cups someone that is very loving and very nurturing but it's like the page of wands in reverse or the hermit in reverse so i don't know if something needs to be healed in this dynamic or someone has to heal their heart space because I don't see someone embarking on this brand new beginning here. But let's clarify first before I say anything. Okay? So let's clarify the overall for the Magician. Okay? The Magician. Clarifying the Magician, the Four of Cups, okay. So seem, there you go, somebody wants to speak their truth here. But there is stagnancy. Oh boy, and it's like temperance in reverse. Someone's feeling restless. Somebody could w very well want to rush in impulsively somehow, or just, you know, it's like they're feeling impatient. They're wanting to speak their truth. But it seems like there is stagnancy, so they're looking at the cup with longing, but not taking it. So let's clarify the past energy of the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. There you go, the Page of Wands in reverse twice. The Nine of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. This is interesting. Um... Someone could have been waiting for the right time, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune. But it seems like they, um, they could have felt overwhelmed here with the Nine of Wands when it, when it came to their emotions here. This could very well be talking about like also walls being built up, okay, as well, barriers. Someone felt like there was obstacles in the way, and that's why maybe they didn't communicate. 
There are feelings here with the King of Swords in reverse, but let's clarify this King of Swords in reverse. There you go, the Six of Cups in reverse. So it seems like there is a disconnect here. The High Priestess, though. The Ten of Cups. So it seems interesting. It's like somebody's intuition was telling them something about this connection, okay? Uh, with the High Priestess, they had clarity. And the Ten of Cups talks about happiness. But it seems like something didn't pan out or there was confusion surrounding this. Even though there was clarity. So someone could have been feeling overwhelmed here with the Nine of Wands. Felt like there were barriers. But let's clarify judgment in reverse before I say anything else. Justice in reverse. Oh boy. So this is talking about like making things right and making... Oh boy. So the magician in reverse. So someone was having trouble manifesting this connection into the 3D for the past energy. So something may have had to be made right or balanced out in this dynamic. So let's get another card here. Strength. Interesting. This is someone that wanted to balance things out though and manifest this connection into the 3D. But there was confusion here with judgment and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Someone could have felt overwhelmed by their feelings and they were not speaking their truth here with the King of Swords in reverse. Let's clarify the Knight of Swords. Did I flip this around? The Empress and the Upright, okay. Oh, the Eight of Swords. The Five of Cups. Wow, it's like somebody wanting to rush in with the Knight of Swords. But I'm really picking up on stagnant energy though. Like somebody wanting to communicate, feeling restless, wanting to come in. Because they're seeing you as this empress, someone that's very loving, very nurturing, very beautiful, but they're stuck in their headspace. A lot of overthinking with the Eight of Swords and the Five of Cups, feeling remorse and sadness. So someone's stuck in this negative space. So let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's like somebody wants a reconciliation here, or victory and success. Someone could be really thinking about this connection. There you go, they're wanting to heal things in this dynamic with the Hermit. So maybe this is someone coming out of the Hermit mode after deep reflection here. There you go, the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, so someone's looking at you as this Nine of Pentacles energies, you know, focusing on your independence, taking great care of yourself. This could even be you going through the healing process as well. Okay. Maybe this person sees you as being very self-focused and that's why they're stuck in their head and feeling sad here with the Five of Cups. But it seems like they do want to heal things in this dynamic here. But let's clarify the sun. The two of wands. So someone has to make a choice here. They could very well be stuck at a crossroads. There you go, the two of cups and it's regarding this connection and they're seeing it as being very special. But it's like with this two of wands, this is someone that's standing in the dark and all they have to do is walk into the light here. So this could very well be talking about like someone having to make a choice. So it's like the two of wands and the two of cups. Interesting. 
death in reverse. Yes, yeah, someone's not walking away. Something is quite unfinished here. I'm hoping that my kids can last. I'm almost done. <laughs> so let's clarify the page of wands in reverse for the future energy. Oh God, please. Page of wands in reverse. There you go, the chariot in reverse. This is quite interesting. It's like someone wanting to rush in, but then again being quite indecisive. Okay, so there very well may not be any communication. Since the page of wands is showing up in reverse, even though you're coming across as being very open, loving and nurturing here. But um, let's get two other cards before I say anything. There you go, the four of swords. So this, it seems like this person's in this deep state of contemplation here. This is really talking about like stagnancy with the Four of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Five of Cups and the Eight of Swords and it's showing up in the future as well. Yeah, and there you go, the Knight of Swords in reverse. So it's like somebody reverting back, okay? So let's clarify the Queen of Cups. Someone could be feeling tired here, but look at that, it's like the star. So this could very well be talking about like someone having to heal their heart space. You could be in a very balanced place as well. Look at that, it's like the Emperor in Reverse. So this Emperor in Reverse So if the Empress was in reverse, right? This is clearly talking about a disconnect between two people. It could very well be that the both of you are feeling quite sad here. Okay? But it's like, you're seeming like you're, this is really talking about like someone having to heal their heart space. The Emperor is showing up in reverse. There you go, the world. So this is really talking about like there has to be an end to a cycle here. Um, so it seems like something has to be healed and balanced out in this dynamic. Okay, with the Emperor card show. So this person could very well be thrown off. Well, let's clarify the Hermit in reverse. There you go, the Ten of Swords. So it seems like someone has to heal their heart space and let go of any sort of pain here. The Six of Swords in reverse, because I don't see someone moving on. Wow, this is really talking about like getting over any sort of pain, healing one's heart space. Okay, so someone could very well be holding on to pain here. So if this is you going through the healing process and you being in a balanced place, this person has to do the same. Because I don't see them walking away or moving on here with the Six of Swords in reverse, death in reverse, right? But it's, it's talking about like a cycle that has to come to an end in regards to this situation here. In order for things to take a turn for the positive. Someone's feeling overwhelmed. They're, they're stuck in their headspace, overthinking. That tends to be self-imposed. Feeling sad, remorse. Possibly even missing you here. They're not walking away or detaching, right? They're not moving on, but there's a lot going on in one's headspace, contemplation. It's really talking about like healing things in this dynamic, okay? So let's uh, get further advice from the angel cards to close this reading off. The lovers and the nine of water. Interesting, okay. Life experience. Interesting. Another card. The wheel and the moon. And they're all <laughs> the same color pattern. Interesting. So could, and they're all major arcanas here, 16, 18, and 10. The life experience, 
Archangel Camuel, or a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change time to spread your wings. This is really talking about learning from life experiences, okay? And it's really talking about like major changes here. And the moon, Archangel Haniel, important psychic insights, events behind the scenes release fears that hold you back. So there could be fears here that could be holding someone back. Could be a very intuitive connection though. So someone could have like, their intuition could be telling them something about this connection. But it's like the moon, that it's, it's being kept hidden. Okay, something that's being kept hidden from you. The wheel, Archangel Michael, a time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward, fortune is on your side. So it's really talking about like the wheel of fortune, like someone having to let go of any sort of pain, which is a good thing if the Ten of Swords is showing up in the upright, meaning it could very well be talking about something nearing completion, okay? But like someone has to let go of their pain, that pain and possibly heal their heart space here or heal things in this dynamic. So let me get another card from this angel deck. Okay, let me just do that again. Crystal Skull Wisdom. I haven't got this one before. Clarity, Divine Healing, High Vibrational Energy. This could very well be talking about like someone having clarity, but they may have to go through the healing process. This is called Divine Healing. It could be a very healing connection. And High vib Vibrational Energy. So someone has to tap into that High Vibrational Energy here. Wisdom. Life Experience. Something that they have to, so this this could very well be talking about like something that they have to gain insight into. Tap into their high vibrational energy, divine healing and clarity. Wow, I've never gotten that card before. And it's like, it seems like it's all relevant because it's even the same color pattern. Because these cards come in um, with different colors, right? As you can see, and it's like, Seems like they're all relevant here. Okay, so that's my reading for you and I'll see you next time. Take care now.